Hi, I'm back and today I'm talking about something I'm passionate about and that is honesty. Well, no wonder I'm a very honesty trainer and coach and this is what I teach for a living, uh, how to be more honest and open and vulnerable. And people I work with um, are all kinds of people, men, women, maybe 60% women, 40% men. Uh, they are different ages from 20 to 75, let's say, with the biggest uh, ranges around 30 to 40 years old. Uh, and why people work with me, why they want to come to my workshops and trainings is basically things like loneliness, uh, difficulty to connect, uh, feeling somehow stuck in life, uh, feeling that the relationships, friendships, uh, romantic relationships, relationships with the parents are not as close and warm and rewarding as, as people would like them to be and they are a bit a tool less or helpless how to make changes. There might be uh, anger and hurt and upset from the past that is unresolved this kind of things um, yeah and how to open up when you're a shy person and you don't really have a model of speaking up and telling how you truly feel for me there is uh, three key components about honesty that i want to share with you guys um, and talk about one is about um, telling the truth and not withholding so kind of the telling the truth is the easy part like I'm 47 years old and if I tell you that I'm 42 I would be uh, basically lying. We told it would be that um, I'm 47 and that's cool. And if I feel somehow sometimes worried or fearful that uh, most likely more than half of my life is already over then that would be uh, honest to share that rather than withhold my feelings around it, if they are truly alive in me. So people tend to make themselves unhappy and miserable even more when withholding than actually telling factual lies. And people who congratulate themselves like, I didn't technically lie, but I'm all the time um, telling white lies or staying silent when I'm actually feeling I'm calling to talk. Uh, making myself small or exaggerating stuff or uh, yeah just not sharing what is key for me that would be withholding and people don't tend to smell bullshitting and lies so rather than try to hide my true passion my opinion my wishes then just put them out there and take the chance of somebody not liking it and still being true to myself and feeling that happiness and gratification, how it is to not withhold and be true to myself. Another point that I find is extremely important is vulnerability. So beside telling the truth is like, I'm making myself nervous saying this to you. I worry you will like me less when I'm sharing this. Uh, I'm feeling anxious, I worry you will not like me anymore, you will run away. Uh, I know it's my hands are shaking right now or something like that. So making myself vulnerable, not just kind of spitting out some stuff and expecting a reaction or not even expecting a reaction, just leaving the situation. So allowing myself to be open and vulnerable with other people. And that is uh, really a key for the clients who find it difficult to relate to other people, find that their relationships are more superficial than they would like to have or the relationships to be. So how to have a different kind of connection, which takes me to my third point, uh, which is connection. So how I can connect in a true, honest way with another person. How I can feel that warmness, uh, and care 
and true connection from me to you and you to me without these walls of pretenses, walls of niceties, walls of little nice lies. And that's a very different kind of a place to be with other people, with another human being, when it's like, hey, this is me, I'm showing up as a real me, and I'm curious to know who you are. How do you feel right now? What is alive in you? What are your thoughts? Let's share, let's connect, let's meet in that way. Let's be curious about each other. Uh, take a risk of just being real. And let's take a risk of just saying what we feel. So yeah, power honesty. I think it's amazing. Highly recommendable. Ciao.